I think the challenge in the, uh, the, the present age uh, is that in the midst of this uh, wonderful diversity that God has brought into the global church and the church in America uh, is to the enter into a place of humility. Uh, I'm concerned about the absence of lament and confession in our churches. Uh, there was a study done uh, several years ago about the use of lament or the lack of lament in churches, the number of hymns that we sing that reflect a lament approach rather than a praise and joy approach. Uh, it's a much smaller percentage. Uh, in our contemporary worship songs, you see a much smaller percentage of songs that reflect this idea of lament and confession. I think given our wonderful diversity in global Christianity and even in the U.S., uh, we have to examine what's, what's maybe some of the gaps that we have in American uh, Christianity. And I think one of the most significant gaps is the absence of confession and lament. Now when you look at the book of Psalms, you'll see Psalms that celebrate all the good things that God has done. And then there are the Psalms that lament the struggles that we're in, the suffering that we endure day by day. And it turns out that laments comprise about 40% of the Psalms uh, in, the, in the book of Psalms. And so that's a pretty significant percentage of our Psalms uh, that reflect this idea of we, we deal with suffering, we deal with struggle and, and pain. Uh, but if you go to a typical hymnal in the American church, the average percentage of hymns that reflect a lament theme is about 15%. So it's disproportionate. In other words, the American church will emphasize celebration, joy, good things, and praise of all the good that God has done, but we often won't stay in the narrative of suffering, of lament, and of pain. And I think that's where we go to um, the challenge for the American church to reflect on a painful history. So for example, one of the most important laments we can offer is the painful racial history, uh, the, the church's culpability in the slave trade, uh, the church's culpability in the oppression of African Americans in, uh, in, its, in its history. Uh, the church's culpability in the treatment of immigrants. Uh, there are a lot of things that I think we as a church need to lament because there are elements of our story that did not bring glory to God. Uh, so we don't jump up and down and say, isn't it great that God is good and we're doing great things for the kingdom? But we have to think and stop for a moment to say, are there places where God is calling us to confess and lament and reflect on a painful history. And in an, in an American society that is triumphalistic, in an American society that tends to want to see itself as glorified in, in, a, in a lot of ways, uh, we need that dose of humility that comes from lament.